everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some book recommendations for you. Um, wanted to do something a little fun because I have recently also become obsessed with BTS um, and have been listening to nothing but BTS and also watching nothing but BTS. Wanted to recommend a book for every BTS me member based on their personality. It's gonna be in order of oldest to youngest, not in any particular order in terms of favorites and whatnot. So don't be thinking it's like that. Um, so the first one is Jin. Um, he is the eldest. Um, I'm gonna put, put his beautiful face here, Mr. Worldwide Handsome. Um, and to me, Jin is like the comedy king of BTS. I think he is so funny. He makes you laugh out loud. Um, and so for this, I wanted to pick a book that made me laugh out loud and that I think is a lot of fun and really funny. So for that, I have Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. Um, if you don't haven't heard of Crazy Rich Asians before, I feel like everyone probably has because the movie was such a big hit. But um, it's basically about American an American-born Taiwanese girl who has a boyfriend who is from Singapore, and it turns out to be like super crazy rich. Um, and they go back to Singapore for his best friend's wedding, uh, which is basically like the wedding of the year. And hilarity ensues. It's so funny. Um, yeah, there's just so many moments in here that I just think are so absurd, so funny. If you haven't read the book, check it out. I do think it is better than the movie. I think it's funnier than the movie. Um, yeah, so that's my recommendation for Jin. Um, for Suga, I have, I feel like Suga's like, his personality's kind of, he doesn't show a lot on the outside, but inside he has a heart of gold. So for that, I wanted to pick a book that was maybe like a little bit of a slow burn, like a little slower to start with. You're not sure if you're going to warm up to it, but in the end, there's something about it, you know? And for this, I have Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Uh, I know a lot of people love this, and I know some people also don't like it. For me, I kind of sit in between. I feel like it took me a really long time to get into this book. Um, I didn't love Gvoth. He's not my favorite character. Uh, it grew on me and by the end, I wouldn't say I was hooked, but I would say that it kind of snuck up on me a little bit. Uh, I think a lot of that has to do with Patrick Rothfuss's writing style. I think his, his, his writing is amazing. Um, I have the second book. I haven't read it yet, but I'm excited to pick it up. Um, but yes, this for me definitely was a slow burn. Um, next we have J-Hope, and to me J-Hope is just a ray of sunshine. He is the embodiment of like a golden retriever in human form, and I thought for that what better book to recommend than A Dog's Purpose by W. Bruce Cameron. Um, this also has been made into a movie. I haven't watched the movie, but I refused to watch it because I watched the trailer and it just felt wrong. Like, everything about the trailer was wrong. This is such a good book. <laughs> if you want a heartwarming read that, like, puts a smile on your face and just makes you feel things, this is it. It's told from the perspective of a dog, and it talks about his relationship with his human, and it's just, like, it's so cute. Um, I cried many times reading this book, so it's kind of like... But it was like a good cry. It's like a heartwarming cry. So um, if you're looking for some feels, I do recommend this. Um, next we have RM, Rat Monster. Um, he, he's just a genius. Like, I think he's so smart. His lyrics are always so deep and, like, philosophical. So for this, I wanted to suggest a book that is a little bit more philosophical, kind of makes you think. And for that, I have... The Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Albom. Again, I feel like not, none of the books I recommend are that original <laughs> or that unknown, but Five People You Meet in Heaven um, is such a good read. I read this back in high school and it, it was very impactful, I think. Basically follows the story of a guy, an old man who dies, um, and it's literally about the five people he meets in heaven. Um, and there are five people who have, have had, who have had um, an impact on his life in different ways. Um, and you kind of learn what kind of impact they had on his life and whether he realized that or not. Um, for me, this is, it reads like a fictional novel a little bit, but it is also just a big thought experiment. And it's very interesting. Really makes you think about like the people you meet in your life um, and the impact that 
you may have on them or they may have on you that you don't even realize. It really makes you think about destiny and fate in a way. I think this is a good one um, to check out if you're feeling a little philosophical. Um, next, uh, we have Jimin, who is just the cutest little thing. Um, I love Jimin a lot. Um, but for me, Jimin is kind of like the ultimate friend. He is the friend that you, everybody wants and everyone needs. Um, and so for this, I wanted to pick a book that features a really great friendship uh, storyline because I feel like that is what Jimin is in the group. He is everyone's best friend. He is the one that everyone goes to. Um, and again, another kind of popular pick. Um, it's got to be the Mortal Instrument series by Cassandra Clare. For me, the highlight of that series is Simon and Clary's friendship. I know they date for like a hot minute, but like whatever, it's irrelevant. Um, what it really is is their friendship. Their friendship is they are basically soulmates. Um, I really love in general the idea that your soulmate is not necessarily your romantic partner and your soulmate is your best friend. Um, I really like that. I also think male-female platonic relationships are not explored enough in books, in movies, in media in general. Um, so I really loved Clary and Simon's relationship in The Mortal Instruments. For me, apparently, like that, the, the idea of like soulmates is parallel for Jimin and V's friendship as well. Um, so, moving on from that, V is the next member. Um, to me, he's kind of like the forever baby. He is, he has that kind of childlike charm to him. And so, I wanted to pick a book that kind of encompasses that, um, that has complexity but also has that is very whimsical and for that I wanted to recommend The Little Prince. Um, I'm not going to try to read the author's name. My French sucks. I took 12 years of French in school and I still can't speak French. Um, but The Little Prince obviously translated from French. It used to be my life goal to like know enough French to read books in French and I couldn't even read this in French and understand it so this is the English translation. <laughs> But um, yeah, it's just about this boy, he's such a dreamer, and it's a very whimsical book. Um, people do say that you should read this as an adult as well, so I actually haven't reread re this since I was in my late teens, so I'm definitely going to reread this probably soon, um, just to see if I can get a fresh perspective on it. Um, but yeah, this is my pick for V. Um, last but not least, we have Jungkook, who is the youngest in the group. He is also good at everything. That is what he is known for. He is amazing at everything. So for this, I wanted to pick a book that has it all. A book that has good characters, good plot, good writing. Um, yeah, for me, this book is everything. It is probably my number one book right now. And I think it's a lot of people's number one book and it has to be The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. <laughs> um, for me, this book has, like I said, has everything I'm looking for in a book. It has incredible character development. Um, it has a good plot. It has epic battle scenes. It has good writing, good world building. I just, I cannot rave about this book enough. It is so good. And if you have not checked it out yet, if you've not read um, The Way of Kings, I highly recommend it. Um, I know people always say if you're new to Sanderson's work, read Mistborn first or read Warbreaker. Um, but The Way of Kings was my entry into like the Brandon Sanderson world and I don't regret it for a second. Highly recommend it. This is the book that does it all for me. Um, so hopefully you found something that you haven't read before. Obviously I know I'm not like the most well-read person, um, especially here on booktube, but I thought this would be like a fun little video. Um, yeah, and also to kind of give a little shout out to my current favorite, <laughs> current favorite and like the only people I'm listening to. Um, so let me know down below if you are also a fan of BTS or if you're not a fan of BTS. Um, if you just like the books that I've mentioned. So um, yeah, love to hear your thoughts and see you guys next time.